Hey, welcome back everybody. It is Slider here and we are out doing a little uh, leisurely fishing on Unturned while I come to talk to you guys for a quick minute. Uh, first of all, let me thank you guys. Uh, recently hit 200 subscribers on the channel and like I said after the 100 subscribers, I, I know they're very, very, you know, insignificant in the realm of like, you know, how big some of the youtubers are out there or whatever but i do want to show my appreciation uh 100 was a huge milestone for me and to get to 200 pretty quickly was actually really really cool and i know a lot of the subscriptions do come from the uh, tutorials for minecraft which i am trying to put together a uh tutorial setup um so i can get more of those out there because i know those are probably the most useful things especially when it comes to minecraft because there's a lot of mods out there that we don't necessarily understand or that we would like a better understanding of and so i think having a good comprehensive tutorial is useful and hopefully they don't sound as bad as the ones did for matter overdrive because i had a new mic and had not adjusted my sound settings on it and it's very evident as you listen and it sounds like i shoved the mic up somewhere it shouldn't be and so it was really muffled and kind of garbly sounding but we have since then fixed it and uh, got all my uh, audio stuff set up so anyways uh, purpose of this video as you can see in the title is just something new coming uh, or coming soon I think I titled it um, basically what we're doing here is this is kind of just a compilation episode of some of the games I've been playing over like the last week or so uh, last two weeks actually and uh, I, I do apologize by the way I'm a little bit under the weather so my voice is kind of garbly but it's just gonna be a compilation of different episodes uh, this right here happens to be um, I believe it's called Gotham City um, gangs or something like that or um, some to that effect I'll have the titles for all the games uh, below in the description but I just want to know if any of these interest you um, I'll go ahead and just say point blank. I say it all the time. I am absolutely horrible first person shooter and you'll witness in this because I'm not showing highlights at all. I'm just showing my average gameplay. Um, sometimes I'll get an interesting kill and then sometimes I get wiped out for doing stupid stuff. I'm, I'm horrible at first person shooters, but you know what? It doesn't stop me. I love, love, love playing the first person shooters. Um, no matter how bad I am, I don't care if I have a KD ratio of like 0.1. I'm still out there. And like, this is a great example. Like, Oh, hey, I actually killed that guy. Cool. Um, but then the next guy's going to kill me because I'm going to shoot aimlessly at a whole bunch of people and not get anybody. And, uh, yeah, there's one guy there, and then all of a sudden there's two guys coming at me, and three guys, actually, and I'm dead. Um, no, I love the first-person shooters, and I love playing them. I don't know how entertaining it is to uh, necessarily watch a lot of them. Now, if I was really good, I could see the entertainment value of it. But uh, I don't know if you find me being an absolutely horrible first-person shooter uh, player entertaining or not, or if you'd rather me concentrate on a lot of the survival games, which personally, I do really enjoy the survival games. Uh, my favorite games I actually play on a regular basis, obviously Minecraft. Um, I really do enjoy Unturned, and then uh, coming up after this clip will be uh, H1Z1. Oh, no, I'm sorry, that doesn't come to later. Um, actually, no, it might be. Anyways, I really do enjoy H1Z1 because it does have that survival building aspect to it, like the same thing you can do in Unturned or whatever. But um, I like the gameplay a little bit better than Unturned, personally. And it's a fun one if you can get on a server with people. Uh, it does have the King of the Hill aspect, um, which is the, you know, the, the fight to the death, the last person standing thing or whatever, and I do enjoy that. Uh, this one right here is just goofy and fun. I like it. It's basically Jokers versus Batman, and um, it's, I don't know, it's, just, it's super goofy, and I think that's why I really appreciate this one. But uh, with some of the other ones I'm playing, we're going to go over H1Z1, we're going to go over Heroes and Generals, um, Robocraft, which I actually had a lot of fun with when it first came out, it's, it's come a long way since then, uh, Reign of Kings, um, I've got Ark Survival of the Fittest, uh, World of Tanks, and World of Warships in this particular episode. This was just fun. Pshh. Saw the guy coming around the corner, I mean he wasted me, but hey, I hit him with a Motov cocktail, and look at he's burning in front of me, it's cool. Um, so here's uh, Heroes and Generals. This. Oh, there's two guys in the room. I'm going to hide in this corner. I'm going to let these other guys get shot up. And I'm going to act like I'm going to try to kill them, take a couple shots, and die myself. Yes, that's how I rock and roll at uh, Heroes and Generals. I am a master with their grenades. As you can see, this guy's going to pop in the door. Bam! And then I'm going to slide out of the way. You'll see the kill pop up. There we go. And then I'm going to go hide in the tunnels because I'm really good at hiding. And what's really funny to me about uh, a lot of these first-person shooters is, personally, I actually was in the military for eight years, and uh, this was kind of my job. Well, no, no, kind of my job. It was my job. And uh, I'm absolutely horrible when I'm behind a keyboard and a mouse, but in real life, I don't mess around. Um, 
damn, I gotta kill and die at the same time. It's just, it's just kind of the way I roll. This one, though, I thought I was doing really well, right? So, all of a sudden, I see the dude creeping through the bush right there. Get a good shot on him, right? So, he starts running. I think I miss on my second shot, but I get a good shot on him on the third shot. And then, all of a sudden, boom, I'm dead. So, somehow, and I guess it's my head's exposed. He gets the head shot and kills me or whatever. But uh, the reason I like Heroes in general is there's a lot of goofy aspects to it, too, which is really funny. Um, like, if you ever play this game, pick up a map and look at how contorted your arm is while holding the map, and it's just hilarious. Looks like grenade in, but somehow it kills me on this side. I still didn't figure out how I died there. I mean, it had to have been one hell of a bounce. Now, this is Robocraft. Robocraft is fun. Uh, if you can see, my little ship there is, like, falling to complete pieces. But, um... It's, it's a very simple game where you basically build your own robots and uh, take them out into battle. And you kind of create the maximum build for yourself where you actually, you know, mix defense with weight and uh, being able to fly or hover or jump or whatever you want to do. And then you got to mix in your gun power and there's different gun systems or attack systems you can use. And uh, I really, really enjoy um, Robocraft because it really does... It's not just like first-person shooter, but it's your creativity and what you can come up with as a uh, viable option to uh, attack with. And uh, this little guy right here, it's funny because I hadn't played Robocraft in almost eight months. And so a lot of these maps are completely new to me and I've never seen before. But apparently this was the last uh, uh, robot I had built uh, before stopping playing. Now, Reign of Kings is a lot of fun, and I just did a real short clip here. I happen to be running around the map trying to get a feel for everything because the maps have changed and stuff. And I was like, oh, it's the throne. Let me run up and get the throne, right? And then I realized it wasn't recording, so I had to go back and start the recording, but I had already triggered uh, knowledge that I was there. So I'm like, you know, it's cool. I'll still hop on the throne. And I got a message saying, hey, you know, you can't take my throne from me or whatever. And I was like, hey, if you could just let me stay, I'm just making a video and I want to get the throne. But as you can see, they got up there really, really quick and made sure I didn't take their throne from them. So, you know what? It happens. And life goes on. But that's uh, Reign of Kings, uh, very Minecraft meets Unturned-ish. Um, now, this right here is Ark Survival of the Fittest. This is the... Uh, I don't know how to actually really describe it. It's like the King of the Hill stuff. It's, you know, uh, Last Man Alive or Last Man Standing. But this one I have a lot of fun on. Because, once again, it's all based upon the survivability stuff. And I love the survivability stuff. I love being able to go and, you know, build awesome structures and use my intelligence to live longer instead of my fighting skills because as you guys have seen in anything I've ever done that's first person battling or whatever, I'm absolutely horrible at it. Now, when I was doing this one, I wasn't planning on staying on for very long and I wasn't planning on putting up a good fight. So I kind of came up here and just stayed up here way too long. But fortunately, really no one bothered me or attacked me or anything like that. So that was kind of cool. Um, but then as soon as I get down, I see one guy, and I'm not even going to battle him. I'm just kind of looking on him at the distance. And then as soon as I do, there's a couple other people that come up. And needless to say, you'll see me running for my life to no avail. But I really do enjoy this game because it's, once again, it's another scavenging game. We have to go and collect items to build and stuff like that, which I, I really do enjoy those style games, which is why I love Minecraft so much. I love the sandbox aspect. But, uh... And a lot of them, like, some of the combat is just so cool that I really enjoy the combat uh, aspects, too. And uh, if I turn around here, you'll see there's a guy right behind me. It's funny because you see him kind of debate, like, is this guy going to come after me? And all I'm doing is just making sure he's not chasing me. And uh, so he's kind of like, huh, what's going on? And so I was like, you know what, okay, I'm going to bail out of here. And see, he didn't really see, like, he was going to be aggressive until all of a sudden, like, three other guys started following behind him. And so, needless to say, I run, and I don't run too far before he gets me. Um, but I really do enjoy the arc aspect because I like the dinosaurs. I like being able to uh, tame the dinosaurs and use them for the sakes of, uh, you know, defense and stuff like that. And then here's another guy with, like, blue hair or something like that. I don't know what was going on with that guy. But uh, I don't last very much longer after witnessing him. So he might have been the one that was getting the kill on me. But what I couldn't understand was some people in this game are just so good. Like, right now, if I were to level up, I'd probably have enough experience to get to, like, level 3 or 4. But I believe the guy who kills me is at level 61. And I don't know how legit that is. Um, it seemed a bit excessive for me. But, uh, yeah, the guy was apparently level 61 when I died. Now, this is World of Tanks. Um, 
two of my more played games are World of Tanks and World of Warcraft. Or no, sorry, World of Warships. But I like the World of Tanks stuff just because I was a field artilleryman when I was in the military, so I do love artillery, and I'll show you that in like the next clip. But um, like you know, I just like the shoot, move, and communicate aspect. It's what you're taught in the military, and it's like you know, see a target, take him out, you know, it, go and keep going, right? And I think I get a good two or three kills here before I get wasted. And I was actually just doing this for the sake of recording, so I wasn't being very strategic as I was going through. I was just kind of like, if I can find someone to shoot at, cool, whatever. And then, oh, look at this guy right in front of me. But see, I got shot from behind. So I think that was a teammate that actually shot me. Because there was nobody behind me at that point. I was looking at the map and I was like, there's no one behind me. But I got that kill and then uh, I think I get this one too. And then uh, all of a sudden, uh, I just start getting taken out from the side. Which I'm okay with the side shots because that meant it was someone coming out of the corner. But yeah, so that side shot right there. And So I take a look over there and before I even get a chance to fully turn my turret... I'm dead. So I'm going to move with that guy right there. But that's cool. You know, whatever. Death happens. But then this is artillery. This is what I love. In real life, artillery is the king of battle for a reason. You can sit back and just take out targets because people call for fire. And bam! Critical hits. You take down their damage. Any of the tanks in the area can finish them off. I think artillery is a great support aspect in uh, World of Tanks. I think it's an underrated one as well, personally. Uh, artillery is just awesome and you shoot and then you move so they don't know what your location is you go hide in another bush uh, bring your target hairs back up and try to find another target to take out artillery is awesome and uh, if I remember I don't know if it's this clip or if it's the next clip I believe it's this clip yeah there's three of them they just sit right next to each other I was like you you can't ask for anything better than this because even if you miss you're gonna hit one of the other ones just because they're all so close and they're not just close watch this they line up next to each other and uh, the, the first one hits good and then if you watch they literally because there's a tank across the railroad tracks right there they get in a perfect little line for me I was like, you guys are awesome. You think you're taking on one tank, but there's artillery just hovering right above you. And they don't go very far. They just stay in this immediate little circle. So as soon as I get my artillery round back in the chamber, I just send it. Boop. And it's gone. And boom, direct hit, take out the middle tank. That's just uh, that's just not smart on their parts, like getting that close together, you know, on a group. Um, now, this is World of War Tanks. Um, I happen to be in a level four three i'm oh sorry level four uh miori uh battleship from japan and uh, you'll see my rounds come in in a second i didn't want to spend a lot of time on this but mine are on the bottom there they're coming in right now and i think i get like four or five hits on it and do some significant damage pretty good shot but this this clip right here this is a battleship i don't know what level battleship this was but this was a freaking awesome little battle i had going on i think there was more four or five other ships in the water with me right here but I was relentless on this guy and my little cruiser. I was in the level 3 or tier 3 St. Louis. And I just unleashed hell on this guy. And I was like, if this guy... I, I don't know who he was focusing on because I didn't take a lot of damage. Um, so he was obviously focusing on another ship. But I just let loose on this guy. I don't know if I actually got the kill or not. I can't quite remember at the moment. Um, someone else may have gotten the actual kill. But... Uh, Anyways, guys, um, you know, with probably about two minutes left in the video, stuff like that, I do kind of want to wrap it up while we watch me just obliterate this guy. Um, let me know if any of these games are actually something you'd actually like me to see put up on the channel. Uh, I do enjoy playing a lot of them, which is, I mean, I don't even put videos up. It's just stuff I play on a regular basis. But I don't know if it's something you'd like to watch. I really like the World of War Tanks, and or sorry, the World of Warships. Um, it's just, it's such an awesome, awesome, like interactive game the uh graphics and stuff on the game are pretty freaking amazing uh, but you know pretty much everything i put up here i really like i like the uh, heroes and generals when it comes to the first person shooters uh the tanks and the warships are awesome uh, i will be looking into making a series when it comes to not a series but maybe just a regular amount of videos for um uh reign of kings but the problem with reign of kings is their anti-cheat features are not very good yet, and so there's still a lot of cheating going on in that game, which I don't enjoy. I just, I don't understand the point. Like, why not, you know, go out there and actually play for real? So, anyways, guys, if you like any of the stuff in the video and want to see more of it, please let me know in the comments. And until next time, guys, you know the deal. I'm Slider Havoc, and I'm out of here. Peace.